Tootsie's Orchid Lounge is a legendary night spot here in Nashville where just about every major artist has performed at least a time or two. The intimate venue became the unofficial green room for the Opry stars when the Grand Ole Opry was just a few steps away at the historic Ryman Auditorium. We headed out to the streets of Lower Broadway to celebrate 51 years of incredible music and memories. I think the 51st is a little larger than last year. I, I didn't think we could top last year, but I believe we've done it. And uh, I guess we're going to help a kid rock. He's an old friend of Tootsie's, and uh, he stepped up to the plate, and he's, uh, he's won the bat. And he, he's brought a big crowd downtown tonight. We would try different things. We were smoking funny things. Making love out by the lake to our favorite song. The Care Tour is supporting, uh, is on behalf of <clears throat> myself, the Kid Rock Foundation, a lot of great uh, companies, philanthropists from Detroit, uh, kind of going out as a goodwill ambassador from Detroit saying, hey, give us another look and that we care about your city even though we don't have a lot on our own plate. So we've got together about $400,000 that we're spreading out over 11 cities for different organizations, trying to centralize them to people that I can actually meet and touch and know who this money's going to rather than just some you know, 501c3 organization. So it's been, um, <clears throat> it's been a lot of work, but it's, it's very rewarding. And it's, uh, it's been a good time playing, playing every night and doing something good and playing a lot of old stuff. It's, it's not your regular Kid Rock show. It's, it's kind of a dip back in a time and very loose and uh, no antics at all. When I say tut, you say seize tut, tut. Absolutely amazing to be here as part of uh, the celebrations for Tootsies. I mean, you know Tootsies is a legendary when they can shut down the whole of Broadway. You know, to come down and the whole street shut off and we got to open up for Kid Rock, which was pretty cool. Um, you know, three sisters from Australia opening for Kid Rock is uh, pretty cool. And um, we just look forward to the whole celebration. It's going all night. And uh, congratulations to Tootsies. Tootsies is, is up. It's the epitome of the country and western bar. And it will always be that, no matter how many fancy bars they make and that sort of thing. Tootsies will always be Eden's Den. This is it right here, man. And this strip on Broadway is, is very, very important, not, not only to the country music culture, but to the world at large. Because it, it's something that we have as southerners to present to the rest of the world. And they're very confounded by it. They want to come and see it. I want to come and see it, you know? I have a few memories of Tootsie. I got married there once, which is the dumbest thing I ever did, but one of the funnest times I ever had. Um, that was a riot. Um, being up there with Hank several times, you know, just having to... Rick and Broadway almost closed down from creating a stir. It's just, you know, it's always a blast in there because you just get a great group of people in there, just like working class tourists that want to come in and honky tonk and drink some beer and have a good time. And I don't think there's any place really that I know of in the country that's funner to do that at than Tootsie's. It's just, you know, I call it the real deal. No trip to Nashville would be complete without a stop over at Tootsie, so make sure to include that the next time you drop in to Music City. It's time for a quick break, but we've got lots more music up ahead, including one of Nashville's most sought-after designers. We'll be right back with more Inside Music Row.